Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to use net groups inside AllCAD Capture. So net groups are, are like a, a collection of signals. Um, we can use them for things like DDR, USB, JTAG, Ethernet, that type of thing. And it allows you to effectively have a group of signals with um, just a, a group name or a net group name, as in ETH would be the, the net group name, and then the individual signal names. Um, and it's just a nicer way to pass your, or design your circuit. So. There's a couple of ways to do this. We can use the place um, net group command, U is the shortcut key, or there's this kind of like um, icon corresponding over here to use the net group. So we can use that. That then gives us the option to do um, the net group. So we'll start off with one that we've already defined. So we've got um, a USB here. If we click the little plus here, you can see that the USB contains four signals. So I'm going to click on the button to confirm it. Click OK. The mouse hair changes. I can then go and then draw the net group that I want. And that would then add the object and then I want to connect this to so I can effectively select the pin and do a, a right mouse button connect to bus pick the bus that I'm interested in and in this scenario this is going to be the data L so click OK to that and then this one here to there and this is going to be the data H so that's the basic connections I can then use things like an off-page connector so we'll place an off-page connector um, we'll pick the, the size or the direction we want to pick. Um, there is an option to obviously make sure you use the net group off page and then you can pick which bus or which net group you want this to entitle to. So this is going to be USB and I'm just going to give this a name of U USB. We'll click OK and then that would then allow me to put the, the off page connector on. <coughs> so if you wanted to add a new net group, let's just uh, zoom out. Maybe I want to make a, a JTAG net group here. So I'm going to use the net group command. I'm going to add a net group and I'm going to call this JTAG. I'm going to apply that and then I then add the members to that. So the members are going to be effectively uh, TDI. This is going to be, and it's going to be a net group, it could be an individual pin or it could be a bus. So address 0 to 7, for example, if you want to add the bus in that. Ideal for DDR memory. And this scenario is just a single pin, so I'm going to be a scalar pin. We'll add the TDI pin. We will add um, the TMS pin. We'll add the TDO pin. We'll add the TCK pin. And then we'll add the, the BREF pin. So once I've added all of those, confirm that. It's going to add the net group. I then get this added, and there's the individual members. So I can effectively select this, click OK, and I can then draw the net group. So let's just draw the net group in here. And then I want to connect these these four pins here. So I'm literally just going to window select these four pins. Five pins even, sorry. Right mouse button, connect to bus. Pick the bus. Pick the JTAG. And then that then effectively draws my net group options in. And then again, we want an off-page connector. Sorry, wrong one, that one. Place an off-page connector. Um, we're going to use the JTAG. It'll be a net group off-page. And we'll call it JTAG. Click OK and we'll just rotate that round and place the JTAG. Let's go to page one. Um, we need to add the JTAG in again up here. So we'll, again, we'll use the place net group, JTAG and OK. And we'll just draw the net group in here. And then we're going to effectively select the pins. In fact, let's do this individually. So we're going to select this pin, right mouse button, connect to bus, pick the bus. So we've got TDI. TDO, TMS, TCK, and VREF. We'll add an off page connector. For JTAG. And we're good to go. So if we then save our design, now let's see how this is represented in PCB Editor. So we'll then launch Design Sync. Um, I'm going to start with a. Uh, I've got an input board, so I'm going to start with something called the Net Group Start Board. I'm just going to make a Net Group Board. So I'm going to make a new board out of this. Click OK. This launches the Design Sync, which then launches PCB Editor. We'll open that with a professional base license. 
I can then go to constraint manager and if I look at um, the wiring worksheet you can see effectively they've been grouped as three buses so there's my USB my JTAG and my Ethernet and it's effectively the the, the net group name followed by um, the signal name